decades before social media and online shopping existed, women rushed to stores to emulate the Prince's Sloan Ranger style. Through the years, her fashion shifted from the roughly pussy bow blouses and puffed sleeves of the 80s to her iconic bike shorts and printed sweatshirts, slimmer silhouettes and shorter hemlines, and of course, the revenge dress. From 1980s knitwear to her bolder post-divorce dresses, we're talking. Getty Images 2 of 26 Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer announced their engagement in February 1981, with Diana wearing a chic skirt set and pussy bow blouse in a hue to match her sapphire engagement ring. Getty Images 3 of 26 The newly engaged couple headed out for their first public appearance in March 1981, and Diana ruffled feathers by wearing a black strapless gown by David and Elizabeth Emmanuel, who would go on to design her wedding dress. Tim Graham Photo Library via Get 4 of 26 Diana showed off her penchant for funky knitwear during a trip to Balmoral before her wedding. Getty Images 5 of 26 women around the world flocked to buy Diana's black sheep sweater, and with the re-release of the design by rowing blazers, royal fashion fans can still sport the look today. Tim Graham Photo Library via Get 6 of 26 on July 29, 1981, Diana said I do wearing an iconic puff-sleeved wedding gown by David and Elizabeth Emmanuel featuring the longest train in the history of royal weddings. Getty Images 7 of 26 The newlywed sported her best country attire on honeymoon in Balmoral, wearing an oversized checked bomber jacket and matching skirt. Getty Images 8 of 26 The princess looked like Sleeping Beauty in a shimmery off-the-shoulder Belleville Sassoon gown at a 1981 event, with her nap prompting the palace to announce her pregnancy with Prince William the next day. Tim Graham Photo Library via Get 9 of 26 Diana was on trend in a voluminous green polka dot dress with a tie neck as she stepped outside the hospital to introduce Prince William to the world.